Active File Recovery version 13 has some great features for users. For example, I am in the demo version and I would like to recover a file. In the demo version of Active File Recovery 13, you can recover files up to 64 kilobytes in size. To do so, navigate to the file you wish to recover. You can see that my drive has not been scanned, so I will click Quick Scan Now. And the file icon along the left with the white page indicates a deleted file. I will navigate to the file I wish to recover. Mine is called index-old.html. And I can see the file size is smaller than 64 kilobytes, so I can recover this file using the demo version. So I will select the file, and I will select Recover. In the Recovery options, I see the name of my file. I can see the Recover to location. It is suggested that you do not recover a file to the location you're recovering it from. So I will change my location by clicking the box to the right of the Recover to, selecting a different drive, then click Select Folder. If I chose a destination with multiple files, I could select to recover all files, only files that have been deleted, or only files that have not been deleted. I can choose the recovered name streams, and I can browse the output after the file recovery. In the bottom left-hand corner of this window, you see More Options. In the More Options area, we have the same options we had before. However, we can also select naming features. Do we wish to use the original file names or to rename the files? And we can tell the software what to do with file conflicts. If you make any changes to this window, click Apply then click Recover. Since I had selected to browse the results, I can see my recovered file in its new location. If you have difficulty finding the file you need to recover, you can always use the Search feature within Active File Recovery version 13. To do this, select your drive and then click Search across the top. In this new window, you can select a file type. You can choose to find all files and folders, or only files and folders that have not been deleted, or ones that have been deleted. You can create a case-sensitive search. You could also narrow your search by creation and modify dates, by access, by file size, and by ID. I'm going to find my HTML file that I've deleted by doing two things. In Find What, I will add asterisk.html for my file type, and I will select size and limit my search at 64 kilobytes. Click Find, and there's my file. And you can see I have multiple files, and this is because I chose all HTML files that were below 64 kilobytes. Had I chosen only deleted files, this bottom index-old would have been the only one to show. I can now select to recover this old file.